Good day everyone! Today let's talk about how to write scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing big numbers or small numbers. These are examples of big numbers. Do you know how to read them? Mm, it's hard, right? Because of those series of zeros. These are also examples of small numbers. Can you read them? It's also quite hard because of those long chains of zeros. Now, these are examples of scientific notation. For the first example, we have 1.2 times 10 to the 8 or 1.2 times 10 raised to the 8th power. For the second one, we have 5.65 times 10 to the negative 9 or 5.65 times 10 raised to the negative 9. For the third example, we have 8 times 10 to the 9, or 8 times 10 raised to the 9. Isn't it it's easier to read? That's the beauty or the wonder of scientific notation. Follow these general rules when writing scientific notation. Capital N times 10 raised to the N is small n, where capital N is a number between 1 and 10, but not 10 itself. In other words, this is our coefficient, and it is multiplied with 10, which is our base. And this base is raised to the n, small n, which is our exponent. Exponent determines the number of places or units the decimal point is moved. If the decimal point is moved to the left, the exponent is expressed in positive, but if the decimal point is moved to the right, then the exponent is expressed in negative. How to do it? For big numbers, move and count the decimal point to the left until you reach the first digit of a number which is lesser than 10 but equal or greater than 1. Write that as a positive exponent over a base of 10. For example, we have here 253,000. Where is the decimal point in this number? You cannot see, but there is an imaginary decimal point here. Next is to identify the first digit of the number, which is 1 or greater than 1 but smaller than 10. So it's here. Next, count the units the decimal point is moved to the left so let's count one two three four five so our decimal point will be placed in here so expressing now this number to scientific notation we have 2.53 Dropping the three zeros because they are not significant. So we have only three significant figures here. One, two, and three. So we just get these three numbers with a decimal point on the first digit. So 2.53 times 10 raised to the 5. So our exponent here is 5 positive because we move the decimal places to the left. Let's have another example. Okay, so we have 108 million. Again, where is the decimal point in this number? You cannot see, but there is an imaginary decimal point here. Next is to identify the first digit of the number, which is 1 or greater than 1 but smaller than 10. So it's here, between 1 and 0. Next, count the units the decimal point is moved to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we will drop now again the six zeros because they are not significant. So expressing this now in scientific notation, we have 1.08 times 10. Our exponent is 8 because we move the decimal point 8 
places or units to the left. And the exponent is positive because the direction of movement of the decimal point is going to the left. For numbers less than 1, another rule applies. For numbers less than 1, like this, 0 0.000018, move and count the decimal point to the right until you reach the first digit of a number which is greater than or equal to 1 but lesser than 10. So where is that number? It's here. So let us count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will place the decimal point here. Expressing the number now to scientific notation, it will be now 1.8, dropping the zeros here because they are not significant. So we have 1.8 times 10 raised to the 6, negative 6. So our exponent is negative because the direction of our movement of the decimal point is going to the right. Let's have another example. So we have 0 0.00985. So again, move and count the decimal point to the right until you reach the first digit of a number which is greater than or equal to 1 but lesser than 10. So where is that number? It's here between 9 and 8. So let us count now. 1, 2, 3. Expressing the number to scientific notation, it will be now 9.85, dropping again the zeros because they are not significant, times 10 to the negative 3. So 3 means the number of places or units the decimal point is moved and it is negative because the direction of movement of the decimal point is going to the right. So what's the importance of scientific notation? Scientific notation is important in writing very big and small numbers. It is easier to write and read scientific notation without counting many zeros. For instance, instead of writing 1 million with 9 zeros, you simply write 1 times 10 to the 9. Isn't it faster and easier? Activity time. Express the following numbers in scientific notation. So you may get any sheet of paper and ball pen and answer, then check your own paper. Just be honest. Answer, 8.7 times 10 to the negative 3. Answer, 5.687 times 10 to the 3. Answer, 7.8 times 10 to the 4. Answer, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3. Answer, 4.5 times 10 to the 8. To sum it up, scientific notation is writing very big and very small numbers. And these are the rules to follow. Move the decimal point to the left until the first digit of the significant number times a base of 10 raised to an exponent. The exponent determines the number of units the decimal point is moved. Positive exponent if the decimal point is moved to the left. Negative exponent if the decimal point is moved to the right. For example, 
15,000. Expressing this in scientific notation will give us 1.5 times 10 raised to the 4. Another example, 0 0.00009. So how many zeros? Many zeros. After decimal point, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. And then 9. So expressing this in scientific notation will give us now 9 times 10 raised to the negative 6. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you will be updated with more updates. For more information, you may visit this reference. Credit is also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day.